the candy factory if you're not a lollipop yet girl what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button down below become a part of my candy bag today i bring you another video with wet and wild as well as a giveaway and today we are going to focus on the photo focus foundation i think a lot of you guys are always asking me how do i apply foundation how do i get it to stay on the whole day how do i get it not to look patchy so i'm going to show you in today's video all these simple tricks and steps that you can follow in achieving the perfect foundation look and also how to give the face some definition using only wet and wild products so stay tuned for the tutorial and of course the giveaway afterwards let's get started so with my brows and eyes already done, we can start with primer. I'm using Cover All Primer from Wet n Wild. A primer is formulated to fill your pores but not clog them. So this will cause the makeup to grow on smoothly, look flawless and not like patchy. It's also going to help your foundation last longer the whole day. Then I'm going to go in with the Mega Glow Makeup Stick in When the Nude Strikes. This is actually a highlighting stick but I'm using it underneath my foundation because when it mixes with the foundation it's just going to give me this nice dewy healthy glow so for the star of the show the photo focus foundation I'm in the shade soft ivory and I shook the bottle before applying I like doing dots all over my face because this way you are kind of evenly spreading the product you're not like putting so much product into your brush and then trying to go into the face so this way you make sure that your whole face is covered in foundation before you start blending the foundation brush I like using is something called a kabuki brush or something with a flat top it can also have a round top there's so many different ones you get and I prefer this brush because as you can see I'm using little strokey motions but the flat surface is helping me push the product in as well as blend it out at the same time um, now you can either do like the strokey bits or you can do like little buffing motions make sure to blend the foundation down in your neck Line, so it blends in with the rest of your body and then also take it over your ears and if you have your hair up I sometimes even put it behind my ears just to make sure that everything's blended and there's flow and that sort of thing and with this you really want to take your time I feel like you guys always see me skip through this step like I just fast forward it but yeah you can see I'm literally taking quite some time to apply this foundation <laughs> if you work around your brows and eye area just be careful if you do do your eyes and brows first there's no rule that says that you have to I just like doing my eyes and brows first if I'm using like very dark shadows so that way it won't mess up your foundation but if I'm doing like a natural look I'll do foundation first like my whole routine and then brows and eyes so it's really up to you okay I think you're done looking at me blending my foundation let's move on to the next step <laughs> next I'm gonna grab a beauty sponge and just start patting onto my face to make sure that everything's nice and blended before I go in with a second layer of foundations Sometimes I would just like add a few dots over the areas where I feel like I need a bit more coverage and then this time around I'll go in with a beauty sponge again to blend that out. What I love about a beauty sponge, if you have a good quality one, it works like a bomb. You wet it, squeeze out the excess water and then you just like wring it in a towel quickly so use it damp and this is gonna push the product into the skin, pick up excess product and put that product somewhere else where it's needed. Um, but that's why the sponge has to be super soft if it's like a really tough and hard beauty sponge then it will actually end up taking your makeup off instead of blending it in properly you know so the photo focus foundation is actually a buildable coverage foundation it's gonna give you this flawless look because it is a no flashback kind of foundation it's been tested under seven different lighting conditions with smartphones with and without flash so it's great for your selfie game and it's cruelty free yay <laughs> To conceal, I'm going to use the Photo Focus Concealer. This one is in the shade Light Ivory and it's also a vegan product. And I'm just going to place this over areas where I want more coverage and then blend that out with the beauty sponge. 
So you want to make sure that you use all your cream products first and then the secret to making it all last the whole day is also setting it with a powder. So I'm going to go in with the Photo Focus Pressed Powder. My shade is basically warm light and with a big fluffy brush I'm going to swirl it into the pan, pick up some product and just pat that all over my face to set that foundation properly. You can use a lot of powder if you want a full matte look. You can use a little powder if you still want like a dewiness but girl set that foundation that's the trick <laughs> so a lot of people just kind of stop here and leave it like that but I like adding a bit of definition to our face and for that I'm going to use the Mega Glow contouring palette so I'm starting by just placing a bit of contouring product underneath my cheekbones and then I'm also going to go into my hairline down my temples and just kind of blend it down so it gives a nice gradient look I'm also going to go along the sides of my nose this is going to slim my nose a little bit try and stay on the bone area not like completely on the side because this can also cause your nose to look bigger underneath my lip to give me the illusion of plumpy lips and then I'm going to start by blending out my cheek contour and then I'm also adding a little bit down my neckline and already you can start seeing how the face is taking shape the highlighting powder I'm going to place underneath my eyes, my chin and my forehead just to create some balance within the face. And then adding some color to our cheekbones, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Color Icon Apricot in the middle blush and that's it for the face. So now we just need some lips. For the lips I'm using Liquid Cat Suit in Coral Corruption. This color is so pretty. I love it. You guys know how I feel about these liquid lipsticks. They are amazing. And that really completes your look. As easy as wet and wild as you guys can see. Oh. So I'm sure you guys want to win your own foundation plus some of these goodies that I used in today's tutorial. So we are giving away three hampers for three lucky winners and each winner will be able to choose four products from the products that I used today and all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel like this video so comment down below tell me why you want to try out the photo focus foundation like candy candy makeup on Instagram like wet and wild South Africa on Instagram links will be in the description box and that is that obviously there's an extra entry a secret little entry that you can check out in the description box but it's as easy as that. Make sure to check out all the rules and terms and conditions in the description box also when the winners will be chosen. But I just want to thank Wet n Wild for teaming up with me for these two videos that I gave you guys. And I also hope that you guys learned something. Please let me know in the comment section down below if you maybe learned something about applying foundation and different tips and tricks that you have never used in the past. I would love to know your feedback. But until my next video, I love you guys to put. Stay sweet. Bye.